Well met, lords and ladies, Jacob Potter speaking in a warm, warm welcome to this week's Walking Wednesday. First, I'm in my new, well, not my new hat, I'm not saying my new hat, not been new for the past 12 years. If you're wondering why I am garbed in such a form, in, uh, you're not necessarily best stuff, it's one of my favourites, and also why there's so much noise at the moment now, it's because we're actually on our way to the theatre. And who are we going to see? Hold on, motorbike behind. None other than Dave Gorman. Exactly that. Exactly. Now in case you're wondering who Dave Gorman was, there were, I did a video a while ago called 496 where I actually mentioned him specifically. So yes, the, uh, the subject of some of my random can't sleep 5am thoughts happened to be doing a show. And so now we're going to go ahead and see that. Incidentally, that's, uh, that same show is still touring. So people can, you know, go ahead and actually book that should they so desire. And obviously if you're in the UK, because otherwise you're kind of out of luck, I'm afraid. I don't think he's done much international stuff. Who knows? I should know there's, um, I've, I've watched a lot of things by him over the years and, uh, well, I mean, that's supposedly on YouTube, I mean, in real life. And yeah, needless to say, they've all been UK based except for some stuff where he talks about his world travels and how performs a show around across the world. That also means, given that I know his user repertoire, I've got to be careful because there's a, there's a chance that the audience are going to play some sort of part in some scheme that he has come up with. I have no idea what that might actually be. I'm half expecting Annabelle Port to be around interviewing people outside of the venue itself once we get there. We never know. In any case, uh, there's obviously this is all about the week updates. You don't want to necessarily know what's going on at the moment. It's in too much detail. Although then again, within the past week, I think pretty much everyone has heard about the main piece of news that has happened recently. Of course, referring to the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Now, I've seen plenty of people talk about this, particularly, um, particularly on Discord, and I've seen, obviously, news article after news article after news article. So yeah, in case anyone wants to, wants to know, for every reason wants to know my thoughts on the matter, I don't know. I've always been, I've always been somewhat, um, somewhat ambivalent towards the royal family, and there are some people that really love them, some people that really hate them, and others that obsess far too much about them, particularly in the, in the news spheres. And of course, there's some, as I actually should mention as well, that my, my old writing tutor, I say my old writing tutor, it was only tutor tutor until recently, actually, um, I believe is still currently working on The Crown. So I'm wondering his reaction to all this. But either way, as far as, as, far as I'm concerned with me, I mean, I just, I just ended up, when I, when I heard at the time, I just ended up thinking, well, I mean, there's a lady that's been around for basically the entire lifetimes of most people. So, you know, suddenly that is, so that, so that kind of, that kind of emptiness I was left behind. I can't imagine what it would be like for people as well who, um, who are, I was sort of reading for her specifically after, after meeting her, knowing her, interacting, all those things. So I don't quite know. I, on Discord, there have been a few messages where people have said things that have been, I've been, I've been pinging everyone saying, oh, don't make, don't make jokes about this. Don't make, um, don't make any sort of, um, you know, insensitive comments within the Cerberus, that's what we tolerated. I haven't actually made an announcement like that, and I'm pleased to say I didn't have to. You lot have been, a bit, have been pretty respectful about that. Without me even needing to say anything. I think the only, uh, the only negative comments that I've actually heard anyone say within my particular circles have actually been in private. And I'm not going to knock somebody if they didn't particularly, you know, like the Queen or anything. Just gotta let them do their thing, because they ha they have their reasons. So yeah, that's that's that really. 
I just thought I'd wait to get that addressed. <laughs> I think people have heard quite enough about that. So there we go, we'll, we'll, we'll move on for the time being. So, in regards to what's happened personally within the week, well, it's another, it's another Mutant Girl related week for the most part. I have actually been working towards actually getting a voice acting portfolio for Voices.com as well as have actually been receiving a few job offers from them specifically um, even though I haven't actually activated the skill of Voices yet because I need the demo to actually do so so I'm confused as to how to actually I don't know I guess maybe they just register that for public public invites don't really don't really work in those same sort of account I guess that's maybe an oversight on their part I don't really know. Point is, I'm closer to the professional voice actor that I wish to be. And in the meantime, I've been either doing, uh, I've been doing plays or just other scripts, essentially. That is, of course, not to mention the main thing, which was the mutant girl, because that has actually... <laughs> has actually occupied most of my uh, most of my active thoughts especially within the past week but obviously within the past month trying to get that video ready I think we finished editing sometime within last month and it was and it's just been yeah it's just been a case of trying to actually get the renders to work and everything in case I mean I know that I mentioned this in my st3 the last video I did there but obviously that one didn't, I didn't actually promote that video at all and no one watched that show, so I'll, I'll update here again. I've had, a few, I've had quite a few issues with, uh, with Vegas recently, mostly of my own doing, because I tried to actually change the render settings so it actually would work better for that video, but ended up actually, I'm actually straining another inbuilt graphics card that might have actually been in, in, the, uh, in the computer, a certain, they have, um, Giving, giving too much, uh, giving too much RAM to that program, thus draining everything else. So, so yeah, and I don't, and, and still to this day, the uh, the, the the sound driver issues have have, um, have become the have become such that sometimes it is very difficult to actually. Um, what was I going to say? But sometimes it's become very difficult to actually use the program because it would be like, oh, a device does not exist. I don't know why, but it seems like for now, it likes to delete, it likes to delete Microsoft Sound Mapper and have to, and until I restart the computer and it's reinstalled, which of course means I have to open the program again and, the, and then the cycle continues. So I have to solve that. But yeah, um, once again, the exception the reason I did a MyC3 episode is because, uh, because this reminds me of back in the day when I used to have an issue with EasyVid, which I thought was a virus that wasn't letting me, me upload stuff, but actually was just a rendering error. I do really need to pee. And the, re and the rendering error was, I don't know what it was, but it was just, that's, what the pro that's part of the process that always failed, not the uploading part. But yeah, I was, I was, I was such a novice back then, I had no idea what the difference was. I don't even know what rendering meant. It was just, oh, this is just part of the process. Then it will just post the video. It's like, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, so nowadays, the rendering crashes are somewhat reminiscent of that, just on a much more advanced program. And the exception in both cases was, of course, Super Mario City 3. So I guess I just thought of deluding myself, but also ended up expressing that as a truth. I have no idea how I pulled that off, but there you go. As for the actual Mutant Girl episode, what I did was I transferred all the files onto a different computer, and then we actually just decided, uh, <laughs> oh, then, then of course, sorry, I'm, I'm being, <laughs> people can't tell, I'm, <laughs> I'm walking up with my dad at the moment, and he was pointing towards the, uh, towards a bench I thought okay are we turning this way okay fine but no apparently we're, we're we're resting for a moment this feels very weird to to 
have a walking Wednesday, not actually be walking. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Um, what was I, what was I saying? Yeah, here we go. Here is, here is the bench. Um, I was saying that, um, I was, huh? You're rendering. I'm rendering, yeah. Well, most of that was talking about rendering, thank you. Um, so, yeah, th I think that was, um, oh, sorry, I was rendering the actual music go file. Okay. I was actually rendering the music go file on the, um, on a separate computer, on my old computer, which doesn't have any of the Vegas issues at all. Um, and actually, even that, I actually managed to install Vegas Pro 20 on there and it works perfectly fine. So I think it's just an issue with how the sound drivers are set up in the computer. So I guess I will consult my tech expert of a father about that. He can't really hear me at the moment, but I'll, I'll talk to him later. Hmm. Oh well. Ultimately, it did work. And, and I was even able to, well, to actually use the limited storage back on that old device. And you'll be getting a 4K option later today. Of course, at uh, was it 6 p.m. EST? I believe so. I'm glad more people who are actually waiting right now. You've all been very patient, and I'm sorry to people who could I, 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 I couldn't. I think the main day that was voted on the community post when I said which day should I, which should I post this video, most people said Monday, but unfortunately by Monday I was still having all the issues, so I couldn't render the video in time, and so I went for the second day, which was most people requested, which of course was today. Everyone is very hyped for the release of this episode. And I personally could not be could not be looking forward to it anymore because my goodness, it has been the bane of my existence for some time to actually get that video out. I don't quite let up on this a lot of the time, but but the thing is that I, I, I toe the line between, between being a, a perfectionist and actually trying to get something out. Because I feel like there should be, there should be like a border between, uh, uh, like a point in the middle of those two things. Where quality and quantity actually meet. I don't like to have massive gaps in between Mute and Go releases. I think it was actually summer last year when season two had a huge hiatus and season episode eight of season two came out a year after episode five of season two. That, that to me, you know, is, is far too much. And the, the, of course now the episodes are just getting longer and longer. This is meant to be a movie and I cancelled the movie because I wouldn't be able to get that out basically within the entire year probably at the rate that we were going at things. Yeah, I never liked the idea of doing a mid-season movie in the first place, especially because that would involve some form of, you know, I guess in hindsight I could have done a, a, a summer vacation thing in the middle, but not really. The last Muse and Go release of anything was the remake of episodes two and three for the third year anniversary. Which granted, that that is good. I'm I'm happy with how that turned out. And of course it is a vast improvement on the actual on the actual originals. But of course, that was back on March 17th, and we're now in almost, uh, September 14th. I believe that is uh, six months almost of a difference. And yet, that's the new longest gap between episode releases of Music Girls. It used to be about five months, but now it is nearly six. Still five, but five minus, no, six minus three days. That's barely, that's barely five. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I suppose. We're actually making some approaches now to actually, um, actually split up things even further. And that there may be, it may be the case that I end up looking at the scripts for the actual season three that we had and restructuring things just to make a few things shorter. I can't do that for thematic episodes, but maybe for some of the other ones. Plus, obviously there was that extreme talking about the stuff that was missing in the music at the moment. So that might that would be nice to actually, to actually add as well. Which means that season three is gonna be the longest in terms of episode counts, but hopefully it'll be the longest in terms of release. It is meant to be a somewhat return to form to the original first season. But obviously with all the consequences of season two in mind, and you know, three years of experience 
to actually do this. So who knows, hopefully it won't end up being your, your typical your typical high school series from this point onwards because obviously this typical middle school one beforehand. I wonder what some of the people were actually gonna do now. So Okay. I think um yeah. Also, the thing I mentioned before in terms of the theatre was actually that um that as of as of today we're once again working on a stage play version of season one of the Music Girl, so you know that's very much a return to form, just in a different format in general. So, yeah. We're actually... Um, but that, that may not end up happening, but it depends. There's a, there's a school and uh, their drama club seems to be looking for student recommended plays, and while the students happen to be in the cast, there you go. We shall see. I'll give more details when I have them. I was just kind of working on that for an hour before I actually got, uh, before I got called here. It was a very spur of the moment uh, thing that was mentioned in, a, in the premiere of the video, so yeah. Okay, so we're actually, um, <laughs> let's see, moving now. All right. The spur of the moment idea. So I'll give more updates when that's actually a thing, and I guess that's it for now. I'm off to, uh, off to the place where I did my first ever voice acting gig. But obviously, obviously to see Dave Gorman, which is far more important. So please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. And subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, until next time, farewell.